First part of the door assembly is going to be to install the rollers. To put the rollers in, it's very simple. They go straight through the hole on the top of the door, and then using the small C clip, we just put it on the inside, and with the flat of a screwdriver, we just push them down. That locks that in position. What we're doing here is we're assembling the uh, the door handle on. You'll position this approximately centre in the middle of your doors. Using the 5-8 screw and the screw cap, we put these in using a drill. And you can see that once they're in position, you just close over the top of the, uh, the cap and it seals it away. We've now set the two doors into position. We've entered them into the top rail and onto the bottom sill section and positioned approximately in the middle. Uh, we're now going inside, we're going to adjust the doors from the inside just so that we can get them to slide. The doors in, and from the inside here you can see where our adjustment is for our top rollers. Using a 3-8 wrench, open-ended, we can adjust these up. First thing we want to do is adjust them up enough so that we can get free play on the doors. They should slide fairly easily on both sides. Uh, next thing you want to do is get them even. Adjust them up so they're about the same height. That will then set the position. And again, they should move fairly evenly. Now, don't expect them to slide real easy at this point because at the present time, first of all, you need to get it set on your base and bolt it down. Then we need to adjust to make sure this rail here is the correct the height. The door side in mounting bracket. And we do this, it goes on the back of the door slide. You'll see there's a hole in the end of the door slide. And then it mounts to the side of the frame here. So to do that, we'll actually put a T-bolt inside the slide, through that hole, then mount the bracket to it, and pop a nut on the back. Before we can uh, tighten down the end bracket, we need to set our slide square. To do this, we take a measurement from the centre of the greenhouse, the centre of the door, underneath the lip of the sill, to the bottom of the slide. In this case, it comes out to uh, 70 and 5 sixteenths. Now, we've got that number. The next thing we do is we move to the outside edges and they should be set to the same number. Okay, that's close. So what I'm going to do now is I take one of the 5-8 self-drilling screws and I'm going to insert it here into the centre of the slotted hole in the bottom of the bracket to retain it in place. Then I can make my final adjustments. You do this on both ends. Once we have this bracket in position, we now go ahead and we reinstall our end covers. Just slide them in and lock them down in place. Stage is we're going, to enter, we're going to install the side seal and the, the door stop. Now this is the section that you've got. You'll see you've got the bulb on this side and this is the side that would actually connect to the door frame. There is a piece of uh, seal inside. This is used as a spacer and you'll see what it does once we get the insulation done. But all you'll do first of all is you'll just nip that piece off and get it square. Then with the door in the half open position, you'll go in behind and it fits onto this side of the fixed frame, here, like so. Push it up to the top, to under the slide, and then just install it all the way down. See that we now have the seal on this side of the door frame. And on the other side of the door frame, we've just got the fixed edge all the way down. Now when the door pulls across, the door frame will hit this and it holds, it seals it when you lock it together. When you actually do the latch up, it will seal it. Secondly, the door can't go past. It acts as a stop for the door this way, and it will also act for a stop for the door in the opposite direction. The 
final to seal is the one between the doors here. The doors come with this on. All you'll need to do is remove the paper off of it and it's ready to go. Take your doors up and latch them together. And your unit is solid.